Okay, so I thought that it would be beneficial to put together some arts and crafts uh, once a week so that we could all have something fun to do. Today what I'm going to do is walk you through how to make a collage at home uh, using items that you'll find around your house. And yeah, do you have anything to add? No? Okay. First off, some things that you're going to need. A big piece of cardboard. I've been cleaning my house like crazy so I bought a carpet cleaner um, and I'm going to cut this out and use it as my palette. Second off, uh, second off, what you're going to need is obviously something to cut with. Typically, I would be using an X-Acto knife um, as well as one of these boards here. Um, but since a lot of people don't have that sort of thing at home, uh, you can usually just do this with a pair of good scissors. Thirdly, things. Specifically, you're going to want some magazines. Um, I have a lot of these kicking around my house. I love them. This is one of my favorite issues from fashion. Um, a lot of nice pastel colors. So I've gone through, you're going to want to choose your main image. We're going to use this as our main subject and then build out from around there. Fourthly, you're going to need some more supplies, right? So uh, what I pulled, I found an old, uh, what do you call this? Wallpaper. So one of my favorite uh, collage artists is Sarah, I'm going to say her name wrong, I'm really sorry, Ecole, 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 anyway, she's amazing. She does a lot of um, the glitter collages that you see all over. Um, she just did a really cool one with, with hands being washed, which was really neat. So I unfortunately don't have glitter at my house. So what I was going to do is use a combination of things to try and make that. Um, I'm going to try and put together aluminum, some old plastic bags that I had to give it a shine and we'll cut that up and see what it looks like. Okay, now that we've cut out our canvas, we can start sticking materials on top of it. The exciting part. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this wallpaper that I found um, and I'm going to lay this as my base and you can really do anything. If you have newspapers around, that would be really cool. Colored paper, literally the world is your oyster. Now you have your covered canvas. Um, I went around and cleaned mine up a little bit because it was a little wonky. Uh, and now what you can do is you can take your main image, cut it out, stick it on, and we can start filling around that. Now we have our image attached to the canvas. Very beautiful. Um, what I'm gonna start doing from here is taking some items that I found around my house to build out and add volume to it. So I'm actually gonna take this look Lufa, Lufa, and paint it white because I like that to be sort of the pastel color scheme and this is a little too neon for me. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. So I went outside and I painted my torn apart Lufa. I tore some pieces off and painted it white so that I could do a nice kind of lace look to it. We're waiting for that to dry. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I found this old skirt from like years ago. Um, and I really wanted to do like a floral pattern around her face. So just so you can get a better look, when you are working with the floral pattern, what I'm gonna do is work to cut out um, this way so that it's almost going to be like a frame around her face. Now we are done cutting up the flowers and I've laid them out here. What I'm gonna do is wait to glue them down because I wanna play around with some other materials first. Um, and set them in the right position before securely putting them in. My Lufa spray paint thing didn't turn out very well. So I looked around the house and I found some fruit net that I'm gonna spread out and cut and then place in here. Uh, and then I remembered that I also had these old Chanel stickers. So I'm gonna take these off this piece and then use them to look like they're holding down the white netting too. So I have now put down the mesh um, but you'll notice that I put some wax paper underneath. Um, and then that's, that was just so that it could show a little bit more. But in, when you're making collages and when you're always doing art, there's gonna be a lot of things that don't work and things that do work and you just kind of have to go with the flow and figure it out. Much like life. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add the flowers on. We're gonna actually put them in place. We're gonna put the little Chanel pieces and then I have some other extra little bits that I'd really like to do and then we'll be done. We have glued everything in place now. I don't know if you can see with the reflection of the light happening, um, but we have all the flowers down, the Chanel pieces are added and now I just wanna add a few more elements to really finish it off. I have a lot of costume jewelry in my house. So what I'm gonna do is, is break this and add some pearl elements to it too. Okay, we have added the pearls to the piece now. 
Um, so they're all in there. What I'm gonna try and do next is kind of make sparkles. So I don't have any sparkles at my house right now. And I'm gonna take some aluminum, a plastic bag, and cut them up really small to see if I can create tears falling down. We have made some sparkles here by cutting up the aluminum and the plastic. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is delicately put that down. Uh, take some glue and make it look like a tear is coming out of her eye and then put those on there and see how that looks. So we are done. This is our final piece here. I would love to hear what you think about this. I'd also love to see if you do make your own piece, what it looks like, and I'd love to share it with everybody too. I'm, I'm thinking of perhaps doing this once a week uh, and just teaching you how to use stuff at home to be creative for both yourself and maybe if your kids are there too. And yeah, have a great day and everybody stay happy and healthy. Okay, what do you